sat back and think about it, is this it? Is this where Malcolm Stewart ends? Like, I, there was a part where that crossed my mind. All the doubts start to come, right? The negativity and all that starts to hit you because you know the process of a knee injury is done for the whole year. When I lose that kind of fire and love for it, then I'll know it's time. But right now, it's, uh, it's fueled pretty high. I've had so many hurdles throughout my career and, and so many ups and downs. It's how you push yourself to get through it. 2024 season is my rookie year. The expectations, I mean, battle up front and, and get some good results. The goal is always to win. I always wanted to race here. It's for sure a dream coming through. You only get those opportunities once in a lifetime. Hey, uh, this is your boy Malcolm Stewart here. We're here at the Baker's Factory. What day is it? Wednesday? Tuesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday, right? Uh, lost the words, but I feel great. Piss excellent, and I'm a bad dude on Xbox, and I'm a hell of a fisherman. And I think I can ride here. And I got this hey. guy over here. Showed you who daddy was. You did? For a second. All matters. Check her, check her. Yo, out. you showed me who the daddy was in the whoops. <laughs> You're about to park okay. both of us. Don't leave. Yeah. I'm doing start. Okay. Hey, we're leaving. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we've seen Bye. your. Hey, we've seen your start. Get over there. Hey, you don't gotta do that. You were doing so good. You need to get content. I, I Dude, hey, you know what's funny about this start? Is that it? It goes. It goes straight. straight. It goes straight. And you, and you your go bars are turned up. All the way hey, to the you left. Down there, you gotta watch <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Team atmosphere and dynamic, I think that's something that we really focused on trying to get everybody like in the right vibe or in just working together. It's it's very important, I think, for growth you know as a team and as a as a program and i think that we really got a lot of good guys all pointed in the right direction we definitely have fun when it's time to have fun and um you know we're serious when it's time to be serious everything's been going really good um of course it's been a, a really you know quiet year for me getting hurt injured and stuff like that went through the whole process um i started getting back on the bike uh, October, like pretty much around that, and uh, took a couple weeks, few weeks to kind of ride outdoors, and then kind of converted to supercross. It, and just that feeling, man, it felt so good just to be back on a bike. It was pretty much almost eight and a half months, you know, I'm off the motorcycle. And I remember the night before I was gonna ride, I'm like, do you even know how to ride a motorcycle? Like, just because it's been that long, but um, it, it was just good to be back. And so far, um, the recovery was really successful. Um, riding really good, up to speed with my guys, you know, the, the group that I'm riding with, and um, that, you know, brings confidence, stuff like that. So, so far, the team's happy, and just being around the team, um, it just makes you feel good. Three surgeries, two failed ones. A lot of time under the knife and trying to rehab and, and get strength back. I lost all my, my mobility, I had to regain all of that. So, I've been through this stuff quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, this is, this is part of the game. You gotta, uh, you got to be tough and, and be willing to uh, go through this stuff. So the biggest hurdle I need to, to overcome is, is fully believing in myself. I do it during the week. I do it every day. And I need to bring that same intensity and belief 
on race day. And if I can do that, then there should be no problem putting in the results that I'm expected. You know, a few years ago, I, I struggled to even, you know, get a third or whatever. Like, it's such an up and down sport. I mean, any sport is, but like, it, it plays a lot on you. I always remind myself of the years past and, and kind of what I've been through. And I've had two really good years to just build on. Last year, I stayed consistent. Just needed to be better. Uh, there's one guy better than me. So just have that speed and, and confidence right off the bat this year. Pretty good, definitely better. It's missing, the, the biggest things he's doing now is missing a rhythm yeah. section here and there. Like you're doing everything else better and then you tag him, but that, just keep pushing like that because you'll get your timing for that. That's what's happening though, he's driving through harder and then he's clipping and then he's back, backing out. As soon as we figure it all out at once, it's on, baby. <laughs> a little bit of new blood to the team. Definitely neat that we do have the guys that have been around with, you know, Christian, Malcolm, and RJ. The, the, we're comfortable, we know how it works, and now we're, we're kind of slightly learning two new ones. I mean, Casey Cochran, we, we got to know him through our amateur program. I mean, he did what he needed to do to earn his, his pro deal, and he did that, and I'm happy to have his, you know, his youth around. I think Casey has a, a, a lot of promise and a bright future. And then you kind of shift gears into someone who none of us knew, uh, which is Gillum Ferris. I have tons of respect for the idea of, of a kid that wants something so bad, you know, came from a different country, you're here, and your main purpose to be in here is to be successful as a racer. When you really have put, went all into one category and that's it, there's no other way besides to go back home with your tail between your legs, I think that that's different. My name is Guillem Ferrez. I'm from Spain, Barcelona. Uh, always lived there all my life. My main inspiration was my dad. He, he rode dirt bikes at a local level there in Spain. Uh, and I guess I was just like a kid that liked bicycles and stuff. Started riding dirt bikes when I was like four. Got a dirt bike uh, as my Christmas present and it all started there. I'm super excited. I've never been at this stadium before. I've never seen a Supercross race, so it's gonna be my rookie season, so I'm, I wanna try to, to be healthy, just be there every round, and, and I think that's what's gonna make the difference. Uh, be there every round, ride with the guys, hopefully get some good starts and, and see where that brings me. With this team, man, it's, it's, we take it extremely serious when it comes down to racing and testing and everything that goes into this whole process. But we try to include a few days throughout the year where we all get together and, you know, we go have fun, we go play golf, or we go do pickleball, or we, you know, it's super competitive when you go do it. Everybody's talking smack to each other. I don't see Malcolm hitting the balls, or Christian. He's gotta do daddy things. I've golfed with RJ, I'm pretty sure I took him down. Malcolm I've never golfed with, and I don't, I don't even know if he'll show up. He said he's gotta go take his dog for a walk, so I think that's his way out. Everybody bet against me, dude. RJ included. Yeah, it's like the, the dogs are harder to like, take care of than a kid. And that's what's funny. Mm, me and Christian would go at it. I don't know. Malik, there's no way you can swim a club. Oh! oh he slipped! He slipped him! <laughs> hey, you're just lucky. That I went was... over the... I got him covered. I got him covered. <laughs> Killed Jared, my bad dog. <laughs> you get out of it. First number one like. It's a group of guys that enjoy being around each other. And honestly, I can't ask for anything more. You know, that's what makes this fun. Season three of Grit and Grind, we want to show you everything. Just how gritty you have to be, all the things you got to go through, just the grind of it all. Like, just like people need to know how hard it is in this sport. And I think that this series does a great job showing behind the scenes of that. So, be ready for it.